Hey guys, it's Mohammed from beautifulemails.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to send out and test out this email template we built in part one and part two. If you haven't seen part one and part part one and, or part two, sorry, <laughs> um, make sure to go on the site and watch the previous episodes that I did. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to be using two different services. We've got campaign monitor here. Uh, it's quite reliable. I like the interface so that's why I use it. It, it works and it's easy to use. Um, we're going to be using Litmus, Litmus app. I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, Litmus. Um, it allows you to test your campaign with different email clients and mobile devices and against you know different spam filters and they've also added analytics so you know tracking and analytics etc uh, pricing for limits is not too bad $49 per month and you get unlimited email previews previews um, they used to add spam filter tests they don't anymore which is a shame and I do hope they bring that back I hope Litmus is listening as well because they need to bring that back anyways um, you can sign up for a free, free plan I think it's on their blog somewhere and it only allows you to preview your email in two different clients I think it's Gmail and Outlook 2003 I'm not sure but it's the URL uh, it's sign up dot litmusapp dot com slash free hyphen plan sign up here and you should get free plan I don't know why they don't promote it on the main site or I might be missing something I'm not sure anyways so yeah just go to that URL sign up all right so let's Oh, also, you you can use other services instead of campaign monitor. There is Mailchimp, and there's tons, tons, and tons, hundreds. I don't know how many there are, but there's a lot. But I do prefer campaign monitor just because I prefer the interface. You know, they're all, but you know, Mailchimp's good as well. Doesn't matter really, as long as it works and it, you, you know, you get your emails across. It's fine. Um, if you do want me to make another tutorial on how to use MailChimp or any other sort of services then do let me know I don't mind you know it's fine um, let's sign up I've already got an account so if you sign up which is easy if you don't know how to use a form then I do feel quite sorry for you but yeah <laughs> to, to sign up create an account um, I've already got an account so I'm going to log in it's just my demo account. All right, let's log in. Uh, I hope that's no, that's not the right password. Okay, no. All right, so you start off like this. Let me delete this. Yes, delete. Okay, so you start off like this on this page. You want to add a new client. Let's just call it beautiful emails, and uh, let's call it templates and then we'll call templates at beautiful emails dot com you can also give access to the client I personally don't but it's fine if you want to then the client can manage their own account which is fine okay so you get your client listings here click on the client you want to create a new campaign which is fine uh, we'll I'll call the, ta the campaign templates test one. There we go. Sub the line free uh, templates. There we go. From uh, beautiful. No, let's just call it from templates. Let's call that free template. No. Mm. Beautiful template. There we go. Okay, so. Subject line is going to be beautiful template. It's going to be from templates, and the email is going to be templates at beautifulemails.com, and the reply is going to be the same. Next, all right. So we want to add HTML and plain text. Plain text is for 
mainly for mobile devices which don't allow HTML or certain people who have HTML disabled in their mail client so plain text is quite is very very important actually so make sure your your plain text as well is formatted in a nice way easy to read and it's not a mess basically all right so click next I want to upload the HTML which is easy enough and the zip file as well it wants the zip file of the images all you do is just zip the images and upload it which is fine okay importing let's preview that make sure it looks okay okay that looks fine all right so I'm happy with that next all right so now we want to input the plain text so if you do create the template correctly and you you do add text and it's not full of images then when you do import it from the HTML it imports everything that you've added in text which is perfect let's just make sure to format that properly and make sure that text doesn't go over this line as for smaller screens such as like mobile devices etc so let's just make sure that doesn't go over okay Alright, so we want to create a subscribers list. Let's call it test. Um, single opt in. You can either ask them to confirm that they want to be on the list, but it's fine. It's just a test list. Okay, let's add some subscribers. Okay, so we'll hold off at the moment on campaign monitor here. Let's go to Litmus. So if you go to this URL, sign up to an account. I've already got an account, so I'm going to do that. Okay, let's log in. My demo account. Okay, blah, blah. Okay, I got my password wrong again. All right. Okay. So what Litmus does, it provides a an email address which you can add to your test list. So every time an email is sent to this email address that it provides it will automatically test your your campaign so that's what we'll do we'll add the email address that is given us and I'll add a personal account personal one just in case so okay so let's add subscribers uh, sorry just to mention you can also import a file of subscribers so if you do have uh, 200,000 email addresses that you, then you can just import that and I'm guessing it has to be, you know, well well formatted, which is fine. Let's go back. Okay, so I've added two email addresses in there, which is fine. Uh, let's go back to create and send. Create. Click on the campaign. Okay, that's fine. All right. So now we've got the list here. Click on the list. Test list. Let's skip the test I don't want to, you can uh, send a test to a certain email but it's fine this I've created a test subscribe list so it's fine skip this test all right send it out okay so now we litmus should pick it up let me just delete these all right so look it's picked up already pretty quick actually so let's just do that Just wait a few seconds. It, it does say two minutes, but it doesn't normally take that long. Oh, while we're waiting, so it just lets me know that my campaign has been sent, which is great. While we're waiting, um, if you, I've just posted an article on how to avoid spam filters. So if you want to read that and make sure that you follow the basics on how spam fields actually work and what to avoid you know using caps and subject lines certain words like 
free or you know amazing certain words in subject lines that spam filters like to that like, pick up certain words from emails and and filter them as spam so if you just follow the basics you should be okay most of the time when you send out your campaign and it, most of the time it won't get picked up by spam filters so now if I check my email it hasn't been picked up by spam filters and it's displayed fine and also the, temp the template works correctly without images being displayed which is what most what you really want to happen you want emails not to when emails are not displayed you want the email to stay you know together and work properly and already I see a problem here so if I just so already I see a problem there's a gap here which is great you know I found I found the problem and I need to fix it also the text goes out too far you know the width is too too wide that's that's, that's the point of testing you want to see that the email works or it doesn't work if it doesn't you fix it and that's what you want that's what litmus helps me to do without me signing up to all these email clients and logging in and log there's a, I don't know how many there are there must be about 50 so log, signing up to all these accounts and logging in to each one will take you a, quite a long time so if you just sign up to litmus you know pay $49 which is nothing and and get an account and test out test your emails out in a few minutes you know it saves you a lot of time and already I already see a problem in Gmail Explorer you know everything was fine except for this gap here and the width here is incorrect I think it's the same in Outlook as well yep Outlook as well the gap here is smaller which is fine but the width here is incorrect as well so what you do is just go back to your email and you know test and trial and error basically pretty much so we can see that the width is incorrect so what we do is probably increase the width or put width as a so width 100% save it save it send it again through campaign monitor and then test it again and that's once you've fixed all the errors you're pretty much done and you can happily send it to the world if you wish <laughs> all right so that's it so I'll add the I'll add some notes in the under the video later I'll add a link to campaign monitor and litmus as well and do check them out you know much love to litmus great great application uh, MailChimp as well if you want to check them out as well and do check out beautifulemails.com and watch the series under screencast and I don't know what's wrong with my internet today it's quite slow yeah under screencast I've got part one and part two yep that's it guys thanks thanks for watching